Welcome everyone to an episode of Castile, and this is probably going to be my last episode for today. Because I feel like I'm starting to dip a little bit in quality in terms of energy, but eh. I really, I'm really just really hyper to play this game right now. Like, it's, it's getting so much fun. Like, every time I'm like, oh, I should put it down now. I should probably go to sleep go to sleep or something or do some other stuff but then I'm like but then I just have to discover a little bit more and then I have to do this a little bit more and it's just like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, everyone knows what I'm talking about we all know that spiraling effect where we all just love the game so much you are allied with the papal state huh never would have guessed let's just gain that cardinal right there and let's see are you still excommunicated because I'd I laugh at that yes you are Dang it. I wonder why I still I should get like a free cause bell eye against these guys. Just for being excommunicated, I should get a free cause bell eye. Anyways, everyone, we are slowly discovering the rest of the world where I'm pretty sure that this is just a bay right here. Like almost positive that it's just a bay. So that's kinda sad right there. I was hoping that we discovered the major massive continent, but probably probably isn't. Like no? Oh my goodness, no way. This is like a little tiny, it has a little tiny like Panama region. And this is Alabama! This has Alabama! <laughs> okay, so everyone, we just discovered Alabama. We also discovered Ghana. Okay, yeah, just keep moving down the, the shores. Whoa! That's a lot of land that we just discovered. Yeah, okay, so maybe this is a massive, just a massive continent after all. But we're slowly starting to figure out what everything looks like. Sugar! We're trading sugar. Alright, go send our ships to go. We'll try to discover this little piece of land right here to make, like, travel a little bit easier between us. Alright, our enemies. We have enemies. That's not good. Our troops have suffered a lot. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, our troops are also moving down, which is really good. And you're about to discover this. Man, these two, these two explorers right now, Fernando and this guy, it, there was another guy before this, but as you guys know, he spontaneously died. So, well, he came down with the death, so, yeah, he doesn't really count anymore. But Fernando, this guy, this guy is awesome. He's been discovering so many places, but what I'm really kind of wondering is, where are the natives? Oh, wait, there's a native? The first native, oh, there's a native tribe. Okay, and it seems like England just, like, did something that broke our alliance, I guess? Uh, no, they're still Catholic, so it isn't like they changed religions yet, so. Alliance from England. Uh, anyone else want to be an alliance, buddies? Austria, you seem like, yeah, let's get an alliance with you guys. Let's get an alliance with you guys. Perfect alliance right there. So. We got alliance from Austria, the king right now, who's about to enact the first reform, which is going to be nice. And with England. And I think we also get alliance with Portugal too. So we have basically a godlike alliance right now. We have Austria, England, Portugal, and us. France must be cowering in their boots. If they had boots. I don't know if they have boots, but I hope they have boots because I'd be quite sad if France does not have boots. Okay. We're also going to get the next Diplo Tech level. Because we're just teching down everything with our crazily slightly better like ruler than we did last year and it seems like Portugal is just recently discovered everything which is not good that means they're gonna soon come over here and be their colonial selves which is not good and what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go say hi to our neighbors because we need to go say hi to the good old neighbors that we have that we know let's go see how far are we off our colonial range is 160 dang yeah, the only place that we could probably colonize is right about here, but we need to, like, seriously get here, to get over here. Because I don't want to deal with the powerful Portugal. No siree do I want to deal with the powerful Portugal. Okay, and our, f our army is much better balanced now. I'm going to build one more soldier. And I think we're about ready to go to war with our good friends, the, uh, the uh, Aragonians. Yeah, that works. We're about to go to war... We're about to go to war against the Aragonians for taking the rightful land of Castile. Quite frankly, that's what they did, so we're going to go declare war on them. Yep, just declare war on them. It's going to be fine, too. And it seems like our people are about to discover the new Native American groups over there. I can't wait. Over here in the mainland, we're going to be declaring war. And since they have an alliance with Gusa, 
Uh, wait, do I have to worry about Austria being at war with someone too powerful? No. They're gonna, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to handle Ragusa and all these people over here. By the way, just to give us an even more beefy alliance, I'm gonna give us Napoli. 33 prestige, or... I would usually hate, I don't usually like the stability loss, and I don't think I could recover from it really quickly. So, yeah. Valencia. Huh, it seems like Valencia didn't get accepted, so I'm gonna have to deal with that again. But, now that we got a beefy alliance with a lot of people, uh, mostly everyone says no. That stinks. You guys are all jerks. Well, I'm calling you guys all in anyway, so if you guys break it off, it's not my fault. So let's see. Who honored it? Naples and me. Well, let's go destroy the, uh, Argonian army. Because that's the first thing we're gonna go do. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, just, just, let's go destroy you. Yeah, let's just go destroy you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Just, just die. Just die. That's all I'm asking you to do. We don't, I'm not here for any, like, special war or anything like that. But just, if you have anyone to blame, Argon, it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be your good old friends, the, uh, French. The Frenchies. Because the Frenchies gave you the province of Barcelona, which was, quite frankly, rightfully mine. And where's my major fleet? There it is. Okay, you guys go crush the um, go crush this fleet. Tw six. I think we have enough. Okay, seems like we're losing, raise wartime taxes, and let's see. Yes, we discovered someone, the Pawnee. Do we have show superiority yet? No, we don't. Dang it. Well, at least we discovered some native groups, so. That's good. Let's just keep... Now that we discovered some, I now know that they exist. So I don't feel like... Oh gosh, where the heck are the natives? Okay, let's get you guys out of here. Get you guys right over there. And... Let's go send in our big gigantic fleet to go see if they can go crush their big gigantic fleet. Um... Let's go see. Our big gigantic fleet's right here. Let's see. What's their numbers like? Uh, 11, 8, 3. Is that bad? Oh, that's good. They have nothing. That fleet right there that that Argon has, they have nothing. We could easily crush that in a couple, like, big excursions. Not even a big excursion, just like a little tiny excursion. And that army just stupidly came next to me. So I'm going to go destroy it. Uh, how is our allies of Napole doing? Okay, Napole is conquering everyone and... Uh, prestige! Let us gain the prestige, because we gained like 33 less prestige. Um, what we're going to try to do first, we're just going to try to crush the little tiny army. Uh, it seems like they do have a little bit of an army trying to do stuff. But we're going to go crush this little tiny army right here. Because uh, we want what we want to do is we want to make sure that, that 22 death stack right there does not become an issue. So, that's why we're crushing the little tiny armies right now. I know there's a big gigantic army somewhere over here, so we're gonna go crush that too, and then, yeah, <laughs> the army right, oh my goodness, and then bust our army, oh, that was nice, that was nice, okay, so now all these guys over here will now go over here, and I think, you know, honestly, if I do negotiate a peace, I think I honestly will, like, negotiate, um, Naples to gain a little bit more, because they were, they were the only people who actually joined in on my side, okay. Like, they're the only people that joined in on my side. And you know what? That deserves some credit right there. So let's see. First off, their army's gonna hide inside. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. I have that fort blocked up. They don't even know. Okay, so let's gain our new cardinal back. There we go. Uh, let's go back into exploration mode. Because we're doing a lot of things at once. Exploration. Get down here. You keep going down so we can figure out how far this goes down. So our explorer knows how to explore. Alright, we have a new ideal. It's been a while. Dang, yes! 50% colonial efficiency. And we get two colonists. Is that enough for us to finally be able to colonize? Uh, our colonial range. Uh, oh, so close. Oh, man. That, that is, like, heartbreaking right there. We needed just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Hey, Portugal, would you give us fleet basing rights? Uh, Portugal is a province of colonial power, Dave. They know me well. Okay, you are not colonial power. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna see if we can maybe get over from Norway. Maybe that would be the way we're supposed to do this. Hmm. I don't know, but we have two colonists which we can't use right now because it's barely out, out of our range, which kind of annoys me. Back to the war with Aragon. Uh, not really a war, really, I should say. It's more of a slaughter fest. Uh, Roma should be out of this now. Yeah, Roma is completely occupied, 100%. So let's peacefully negotiate there. Uh, a Napoleon vassal, or what do we want for them? How much money do you got? Only 63. Hmm. You know what? You guys will become a Napoleon vassal, and you do not have enough diplomatic power. Shoot. Um, shoot. Okay, so we're just going to have to gain a couple diplomatic power, but I think that's what I'm going to do is... Napoli becomes a, becomes a power over here, and what I might actually do is actually make them, when I'm negotiating with Aragon, is have them... Uh, let's see, what do you guys want? With annual trees or... The conquest causes bad eye. Uh, no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give. I think I'm gonna give Naples the Roma, Roma, just because they were a good. They were a good like helper. Like all the other nations, all my other allies didn't join in, but they actually joined in. They were actually a good base, uh, an army. And I do have a ship somewhere over here exploring. I hope it's not dead. Okay, the ship might be able to make it back. I hope it can make it back. Because I don't want to see my ships die or keep dying. And this sea is going on for like ever. Okay, you. Fernando, you have discovered so much, dude. Like, you've discovered an entire island and an entire continent. You are the boss. Okay. But a loan's coming due, so I think I'm going to pay it back here soon. Like, now that I have a couple. Let's see. We pay it back. It'll cost me 93 ducats. Yeah, I think I'll repay the loan back. Lost! Bah! Barnacles, so close, but so far he did not make it. Oh my goodness! And we are—I think that's the last ship I'm sending out for a very long time, because I feel like any more ships I send out will just die. Like honestly, I don't—I don't have much faith in my naval skills or the Castilian Navy in terms of keeping sailors alive. So we will not do that. And now, since we're basically winning this war. Let's go in and go destroy some ships. And let's go destroy the last little bit of what we need. This is the last little bit of what we need. And then we basically own everything. You know, dude, if you guys come in here, I'm just going to destroy you. Okay. So, yeah, this this 1,000 army thinks he's going to be able to take me on. Yeah, no. Just give me a second. I'll come in and go destroy you. And Ragusa, dang, you guys are becoming like a big power over here. You own Serbia, you own this thing. That's a pretty good, like, size HRE power. And we have 70 chance to break this. Come on, just break Barcelona. There we go. Okay. Oh, no way. No way. Okay, give it a second. Okay. Go in. By the way, do we have a leader? We don't. So let's use our king. Because if our king died, it would not be a tragedy. Yeah, our king's pretty good, too. Okay, it seems like somebody is dying a little bit. Some of our ships are dying. Okay, dock up right here. You idiots. It's not it's honestly not that hard to realize when you guys are dying. Okay, and we're gonna patrol a little bit around here. Yeah. Just patrol this entire area. Okay, there we go. When you guys are like fully healed and not dead, patrol this entire area. And now, since we have enough diplomatic power, I believe I can now take my land of Barcelona. Um, and if I can, I'm also going to negotiate that for my friends. Well, then, just this, then. Since we cannot get Pimio, but just Messiah. And... Yeah, that way, that way Naples is becoming a much more better power over here, and they become... Much more liked, the least nations of Sicily. Yeah, the least nations of Sicily, that's totally gonna help. And all your treaties with anyone, do I want all the treaties? Napoleon, check some trade power. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is good. This is good right here. So send demands. Yay! We got back Barcelona. 
it's already our, I thought it was already our province, so should it not be, it should be still our core, because it's not been that long since we poured it. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me, it's, it's gonna make me record all of this again, isn't it? Dang, I was hoping it wouldn't, but apparently it is. Uh, over here in our colonial front, we finally discovered the edge of this continent, so now we know where to look for when we try to figure out a map to Asia. That's good to know. And then you guys go back up here. Yeah, just keep exploring. I want that's all I want you guys to do is just keep exploring. My loan is finally gonna be repaid off. There we go. We have no loans. Castile is completely loan free. Uh we could do that. That gives us a little bit of prestige in some places. And there we go. Naples is just slightly larger now. Which does make it look slightly more powerful. Which does make it look kind of cool. Because in just one more turn, we can then... If we were to take like one more province, a couple more provinces from... Um, Aragon, we could probably vassalize them and then become like all powerful protectorate over everyone. Wahahaha. Reduce overextension, continue the reconquista. We could probably do continue... Uh, continue the Reconquista. I've, you know, I've thought of it for many long time, but I still don't want to do it. It just does not seem like something I want to do. And we have, oh wow, we've we've almost completely discovered the entire this entire continent. So this is what this continent looks like. Hmm, it's looking really quite lovely, but sadly we still can't colonize it. Ah, uh, okay, that that's really annoying. Like we cannot use any of our like good provinces to like do it. So that's Powhatan. Powhatan. Let's go see. There might be some more colonies over here. Or a little bit more land over there. We want to make sure that we discover all of this land. Cause it's looking pretty nice. There we go. That should completely destroy anyone that's in the running. Yeah. Okay, now we just have to wait for somebody to come up. And there we go. We are at peace. Castile is finally back on track becoming the most powerful country in the world. Okay, and we can get another explorer, but as we know, we are not very good with explorers. So I'm not going to do that, but what I am going to do is build one, three cogs. And then after that, I think we're going to build like ten transports. Because I think we do need some transports, because just in case if things were to go wrong, we would need that power. And how are we doing in our trade deficits? It seems like Castile, or not Castile, Portugal is starting to take over a little bit. I don't like that. Um, you know what, poo it. We're gonna, we'll do it. Poo it, we'll do it. Let's do the Reconquista. Okay, so let's do the Reconquista. You guys are allied with the Ottomans, aren't you? Well, I don't really need to negotiate with the Ottomans. I just need to negotiate with the little tiny army. I should gain instant, like, Kansabella against you, Tangiers. Yeah, I'll do that next turn, or next couple turns, but I'm really scared because I already know Sunni Berber, it's going to be terrible to take over. Just terrible. Let's gain that a little bit more power. Uh, a couple more things. Austria declared war on someone. Oh my. And Ferrara, have you guys been converting all that stuff you have into... Nope, it hasn't. That kind of stinks. That would kind of be nice if it did, because that would become a really good power. And it seems like we have any more land down here. Or is this the end? It's probably not the end. Like, I'm pretty sure there's more land. I can always see more, like, trade node land. Ooh, and we avoid... So let's see, we have the Mississippi, the Caribbean, Chesapeake, the Panama. Wow, the Caribbean's a pretty big trade node. Like, it has both there and there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just... It's nice to see what the world looks like now. It's really nice, but I'm still sad we cannot colonize it. Like, if that is, like, the biggest complaint I have right now, it's the fact we cannot go colonize any of the nice land that's over there. Uh, and Fro really does love us. That's nice to note. Fro really does love us. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Naples, I think, is at war with Roma again. Wow. Okay, we have a revolt in Granada. Go crush rebels in my main country. I don't, I don't know why they would even think they'd have a chance trying to rise up against me, because I'm more powerful than them. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you need to show demonstrations for your people. I think I may have to do that soon. 
I think my people are getting way too free. They, they think that they can take me on, which is, in all honesty, kind of stupid. Actually, not just kind of stupid, it's really stupid. Alright guys, that was it for today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the future. Because now we are done colonizing. And, well, we haven't even started colonizing. But at least we've started colonizing. So I want to thank you guys for watching. We haven't even started colonizing. We've started exploring. There we go. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.